All right, let's have a quick breakdown of the ACL injury we've seen in the B team Battle of the Sexes gone wrong. Now, this one was probably a bit of a mismatch between Ethan's brother Liam and Australian world champion Nora Schultz. All right, let's just have a quick look at the match. So we see here Nora goes and pulls guard into a single leg X position. She gets that reaping leg across into a cross Ashi. She goes to control that far leg and then comes back with a scoop grip and she falls down onto her left hip with that grip. There we see the knee injury. Now, Dr. Giles was on site to indeed confirm that this was a complete rupture of the ACL. Now, the ACL is at most risk when there's rotational forces of the femur against the tibia, when the knee's slightly flexed and when there's a lateral or valgus force across the knee. Now, the research shows that the ACL is at the highest amount of strain between about 10 and 30 degrees of knee bend. Now those important mechanics are important to know because if we look at the screw grip working against this cross ashy position with this knee in about 30 degrees of knee flexion, that's perfect mechanics for an ACL rupture. Now the traditional Z lock with about 80 to 90 degrees of knee bend will actually apply all the internal rotation and submission pressure to the hip. Now people like Jeremy Skinner will actually teach the Z lock with this relatively straight leg position to target the knee rather than the hip to overcome those people with flexible hips. I want to wish Liam a speedy recovery and if you're working with someone fairly new to the leg game, go easy on the Z-lock.